currently uh, we are getting input from the field so what we are getting is that uh, near the brahmaputra river the water level is coming down but inside uh, the water is not receded yet it is uh, still maintaining its uh, it is steady but it's still maintaining its uh, level so uh, in the morning we had 178 camps under uh, inundated condition now it has reduced to 173 camps now so we are uh, observing uh, situation about the animals also so once the water uh, reduces we will uh, again search for animals which are in distress uh, if at all we could we will rescue them and uh, rehabilitate them uh, any camps have been vacated or shifted due to the yeah we have so far shifted uh, uh, nine camps from uh, this uh, core area of kaziranga total uh, in kaziranga we have shifted 11 camps so far due to the flood uh, yeah the once the water reaches the camp level so we generally for the safety of the staff we uh, shift them to other camps so we evacuate the camps when the water level reaches a level where it is uh, uh, risky for the staff many animals have been more found from the kathirangam national parks towards the uh, neighboring karbi hills area so uh, apart from this there are how many elef- uh, animals wild animals have been died due to the, the flood so uh, animals have been moving since the first day of uh, this uh, uh, flood uh, we have been uh, regulating the traffic also and uh, it is very uh, i'm re- really happy that uh, people are also very much cooperating all the drivers are uh, understanding the situation and they are complying with the uh, speed regulation so that uh, uh, vehicle hit has not happened yet and uh, secondly uh, inside the park uh, uh, there must be some cases of drowning one rhino calf which was drowned already it was uh, detected and uh, some animals which are rescued due to exhaustion and uh, uh, capture myopathy uh, some animals have died so so far eight uh, death have been recorded including the rhino calf which was uh, drowned uh, inside the park